Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nin. Today I am going to be doing this double helix look. I know the helix look has been trending since last year, but I never got around to doing it. And last year I haven't started out my makeup channel yet. I gave it this bronzy kind of sunset goddessy look, if that's a name for it. <laughs> I'm not sure who created this originally, but credits to whoever that is. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do so down below because I would love for you to be part of the family. And if you want to know how I achieve this, please keep on watching. Picking up my fluffy Morphe brush and putting this color as the transition shade. On top of that, I'm going in with this orange shade called Morocco. Now I like to deepen up my crease line, so I'm going over the crease line specifically with a small detailed brush from e.l.f. Placing this color all over my lids, just right underneath where I created that little sharp crease line. For our eyeliner, we're not going to draw a full wing liner, but we're just going to go all the way towards our outer corner. Now we're going to do our waterline with this lip liner. This is kind of like an orangey red shade. Whatever red eyeliner that you have, you can put it. Now we're going to make our first helix liner. Essentially, we're going to be drawing squiggly lines and it's going to look like as if it came out of the eyeliner color and it just formed into this helix eyeliner. Don't worry if you make it a little bit too thin because we're going to go over it to make it much more thicker and if you made any mistake, you can go back in, erase it and redo it again. I couldn't find my NYX orange liner so I ended up just using ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Pacific. For this, we want to draw a thin layer of the eyeliner on top of the black liner that we created and again, it's going to seem as if it just came out of that forming a helix. As you can see right here, I'm going to go over the red here and then under it and then over it again. Now go back in with the black liner if you've made any mistake on drawing the orange liner on top of the black. On the bottom lower lash line, I'm putting the Morocco orange color again and on top of that, I'm going to go in with a red eyeshadow. Now you can use any red eyeshadow or even a blush like how I'm using right now. I'm using this as my inner highlight and blending it with the red that's in the lower lash line. Now just tight line your waterline, curl your lashes, put some falsies, put that mascara on, and your look is going to be complete. I want to bronze up my face, because this is looking like a sun goddess kind of look dingy. Bronzy goddess kind of look. That makes any sense. <laughs> Where's my contour, girl? Where's my contour, girl? Y'all know this contouring palette it's from Wet n Wild's Caramel Toffee. And it looks like this. Don't stop now. Isn't it strange how we're safe from home? 
And then in the center, I'm gonna go with the metallic matte, metal matte lipstick from Kylie in the shade King K. This is the final look that I created for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below because I love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias which are all listed down in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I'm feeling sexy. I'm feeling goddessy. I'm feeling bronzy. I don't know why I'm singing like this. This is so cringe. Okay, I should stop. <laughs> Sorry.